the GI and Nutrition Therapy Program at UPMC, I think, is uh, a program that really combines medical expertise with surgical expertise in the care of some of our most complex patients who have undergone an injury or an illness involving the gastrointestinal tract. When we think about the patients who come onto the GI and Nutrition Therapy service at uh, UPMC, the treatment options are going to be individualized. The goal of the program is to develop a care plan for each patient and when it comes to GI and nutritional therapy each patient is in many regards a unique case study. We have to decide um, the best treatment options based on the person's anatomy, based on their past medical history, based on their prior experience with medical therapy. One of the core concepts of helping a person get better is to provide nutrition. And oftentimes that's really the, the major obstacle that faces us. Our patients really can't bring nutrition into their bodies adequately and we have to provide a multidisciplinary approach to help restore them to health. If the gut is available and working, we're gonna try our best to utilize the gut. Sometimes that's not possible. We're gonna need uh, help with intravenous modalities like TPN to help bring that person back. And we'll use TPN as a bridge to hopefully restore gut function. We will need to use uh, medical treatment options for our patients who are suffering from inflammatory disease processes, problems like Crohn's disease. If we think about our patients who have uh, inflammatory enteropathies, we oftentimes have to use fairly um, unique forms of therapy, not just corticosteroids, but intravenous immunoglobulin treatments, some of our biologic agents when our patients are facing these types of challenges. We have a very close working relationship with our colleagues in surgery. We work closely with our um, colleagues in the small bowel transplant service, which really represents one of the most um, powerful life-saving modalities that we can offer our patients who've gone through extremely severe illness involving GI tract function. One of the complexities with the individuals who are going to be admitted to the GI and nutrition therapy service is the fact that in many regards they failed the standard evidence-based medicine approaches. We have a strong commitment to actually generating evidence on all of the patients that we work with. We actually keep a real-time effort to generate data, metrics on our patients who are working with us in the clinics and in the hospital. We can actually use these data sets to help solve problems and really push the field further. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in high school. I was 16 years old. My desire to help individuals with this is really fueled by my personal experience. Um, I'm proud to say that um, we have made huge advances as a field. There have been a wealth of discovery, um, both scientifically and on the clinical realm over the past several decades. And it's really translated into our our ability to help the majority of our patients really have full and productive lives and to enjoy their lives. At UPMC, the GI and Nutritional Therapy Service I think really represents an important resource that's available to our colleagues in the community. Our goal is to try to develop that comprehensive but individualized care plan that's going to help to bring that person back.